Good morning and happy Monday, Jays. I'm Josh Gregory. And I'm Brody Mueller. Today, Nicholas and Benjamin will give us a little motivation to get through our Monday. Molly Filger will give us an update on weather. And Johnny Bell will give us an update on sports. All that and so much more coming up next. This, this is KLHS. KLHS. Welcome back to today's. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving break. Now, Josh, I know for a fact that I put on a few pounds after this week. Same here, Brody. First, let's get a quick announcement in. The orchestra is sponsoring another Sheridan's First Friday. They will be selling concretes and different flavors. They will be selling these on Friday during lunch for $3. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Now, let's head over to our motivational speaker, Nicholas, Benjamin Nicholas Benjamina, for a little motivation. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Uh, me, what do you say, Jays? Coming off a five-day uh, break, it's going to be a bit hard trying to jump back into the regular school schedule. So I have a couple of quotes that should get you through uh, this week on this Motivational Monday, starting off with my first quote. The struggle you are having today is developing the strength you'll have tomorrow. Another quote for you is, keep your face, always turn to the sunshine, and the shadow will fall behind you. And lastly, if you ain't first, you're last. That's all I have for today's motiv Motivational Monday. I'm Nicholas Benjamina. Now back to the front desk. Thank you, Nick. I feel like I can get through my Monday a lot stronger now. Josh, our athletes here are really amazing. Yeah, I agree with you, Brody. I've heard we have many good athletes around our school. Now let's toss it to, over to reporters Jack Barreca, Mary Mason, Cooper Scheckinger, and Dawson Watt about college recruits. This school year, LHS has had many student athletes that have committed to continue their athletic and academic careers at the collegiate level. We spoke with Braxton Bragg, Cale Newland, and Drew Mackey about their recent commitments. Junior Braxton Bragg has committed to play baseball at the University of Nebraska and has been dreaming of this day for a while now. Um, I mean, I've, I would say I've played out of the womb, but I mean, I've played, I've played since I was like four or five. He's excited to play at the next level because he knows very few people get to do that. Yes, I'm excited because it's something that only like 2% of athletes get to do. Braxton had a wide variety of schools to choose from. Uh, Michigan State, Wichita State, Creighton, Xavier, Memphis. The school's current standing in collegiate baseball is what brought Drew Mackey to the University of Texas Tech, where he's committed to play baseball. Uh, just the fact that they were a power five and they showed a lot of interest and that they, all the coaches were really easy to talk to and I could really see myself going there. Drew had several different options, but in his eyes, nothing could compare to Texas Tech. Uh, Kansas, Xavier, um, Memphis, Murray State, and New Orleans. When we talked with Kale, an Illinois State basketball commit, she said her family couldn't have been happier with her decision. Uh, my family was super excited. They always wanted me to go to a place where I was wanted and where they thought I fit in, and uh, they really had good relationships with the coaches as well, so that was big for them. Along with Braxton and Drew, she had many other offers she could have chose. Um, Illinois State, uh, Missouri State in the Missouri Valley, Western Illinois, Penn and Dartmouth, and SMU. For KLHS, this is Cooper Scheckinger, Mary Mason, Jack Barreca, and Dawson Watt. Last year, some LHS clubs came together to the Everyone Matters campaign. This year, they are coming back with the entire week of festivities. The Everyone Matters campaign will be taking place on November 27th through December 1st. Monday, there will be a decorative candy handout with a warm smile to let you know that you are appreciated. Tuesday, you will, be, you will, fill, out, you will fill out on a paper, paper why you are thankful for a special somebody. Make sure you look really good on Wednesday because you can take pictures with your friends on, during lunch near the gym. Thursday, you, you will fill out a thank you note to an inspiring teacher. And last but not least, Friday will be contained the infamous IM wall. Shirts will be on sale for lunch, $7, for, at, for $7 at lunch all this week, and there will be raffles on the at LHS Matters Twitter page for gift cards from some of your favorite businesses, including Quick Trip, Jimmy John's, McDonald's, and Dunkin' Donuts. Make sure to wear your shirts the day leading up to the up to and the girls basketball game on Thursday night, November 30th, with the LHS cheerleaders. Here's a video to show what the LA, what the Everyone Matters campaign is about. 
Hi, I'm Olivia Floro. I'm a junior here at Liberty High School and I'm the head of the Everyone Matters campaign. You may have known about the Everyone Matters campaign last April when we had the I Am cards that you filled out in advisory and then we hung up in the cafeteria. This year, we are working closely, myself and some other students with Mr. McDormand, to really make this a more known. We want it to be something that people just know is at Liberty High School. Our motto is by creating positivity, we can eliminate negativity. We also want to bring this into the elementary schools and the middle schools, just so they can know what they expect going into the middle school and the high school. We want this to be known because everyone has their place on earth, they all have their own reason, and we often get so caught up with our own friend groups and ourselves even, that we often forget that everyone else around us also has their own purpose. Uh, we are really excited for everything that we have planned in the next few weeks with the help of the grant that we received from Spurgio. We are just really excited to bring this to Liberty and to really hope that we make a difference. If you still don't know what the Everyone Matters campaign is, here's some more information from your LHS staff, students, and clubs. I matter because I help to facilitate students to find out who they are, and what they have to say to the world. I matter because I make people laugh. Um, I matter because here I'm a foreign exchange student and I bring more diversity, uh, a foreign culture. I matter because I'm human. I matter because I wear bright colored shoes. I matter because I have a diverse group of friends who are all helpful people and they would enjoy my presence and if I were gone, what would they do without me? I'm very important. <laughs> we're thespians and we matter because we act. Todos importan. Hi kids, welcome to Liberty High School. Everyone matters. Everyone matters. Everyone matters. Everyone matters. Everyone matters. Everyone matters. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amos Mora. I'm a senior at Liberty High School. I'm here to tell you why you indeed matter. The reason why you matter is because everyone is special in their own very certain kind of way. Don't let your GPA discourage you how smart you are. Everyone is talented in a different way. You're talented in public speaking, be on the football field, art, music, or whatever it is. You are special in your own unique way, and that thing will carry you far. So trust in yourself, be yourself, and be the best person you can be. Thank you. Thank you, Joni, Shane, and Victoria. Attention FBLA members, there is a mandatory FBLA meeting on Tuesday, November 28th during Liberty Hour. We will be signing up for competitive events and paying dues. So if you cannot make it, please contact Ms. Haverman in room 700. Something prior on the meeting on Tuesday. I'm still stuffed from Thanksgiving dinner, Josh. I don't know about you. Same here, buddy. The food coming really hit me after I ate my grandpa's chocolate pie again. I, man, I love that pie. I ate it during the Chargers Cowboys game. That was a good game. Speaking of sports, I know there is a ton of sports news in the sports world. Now let's toss it over to Joni Bell to hear a little bit more about sports. Thanks, Drake and Josh. I mean, Brody and Josh. Anyway, hey y'all, what is crackalackin'? It's your girl, Princess Jenny Rosebell, back at it again, but this time it is LHS Sports Edition. Now, everyone knows that Saturdays are for the boys, but I'm here to tell you that this week, Tuesday, will be for the girls basketball team at 7 in the new field house. The game will be against Carney, and the theme will be farmer style. Yeet yeet! Also, Slim Chicken will be sponsoring tomorrow's game, and if you go, you could win a $25 gift card to Slim Chicken. Also, congrats to the LHS sophomore basketball team for getting their first W over Lee Summit, with the score being 65-34. to Additionally, the freshman boys 18 killed Blue Springs, with their score being 45-41. to Woo! That's a close one. Unfortunately, the freshman B basketball team didn't have the same luck. They lost their opener to Blue Springs with the score being 25 to 50. Also, the wrestling jamboree started off at William Jewell last Tuesday before break and the turnout was great. Good luck on the rest of your season, boys. Last but not least, Saturday Staley was named your Class 5 football state champions. Even Michael Porter Jr. was reported 
rooting on the Falcons. The scores were very close near the end of the game, but the Falcons were able to convert a do or die two point conversion with nine seconds left in the game. The lasting highlight in the 36 to 35 seesaw victory over in Pattonville at the Memorial Stadium in Memorial, Memorial Stadium in Columbia. And that should make us Blue Jays happy because that means we basically beat, were beaten by state champs. Sounds good to me? Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Have a great day, Jays. Now back to the front desk. Now let's go to a closer look on this week's weather. Molly? Uh, thanks, Josh. What's up, Jays? I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving break. I know I did with the wonderful warm weather, but school started again, and so has the cold. Today seems like perfect sweater weather with a high of 67 and a low of 33. Um, tomorrow, we'll start to get a little more chilly with a high of 55 and a low of 33. Then Wednesday, we'll continue with a high of 54 and a low of 39. I hope everyone has had a wonderful Monday so far. This has been Molly Filger. Enjoy the weather, Jays. Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, that's all we have for you today from KLHS. This has been Josh Gregory, Brody Mueller, Joni Bell, Molly Fogel, Filger, Nicholas Benjamina, and all of our amazing production crew. I'm Josh Gregory. Have a marvelous Monday, Jays. Monday, Jays.